It's good to grow up. The whole point about Irish coffee is that when you've mixed the whiskey with the coffee and sugar and floated the cream carefully on the top, you drink the whiskey and the coffee through the cream. That's what makes it taste so splendid. Now, I wonder where they got the idea from. If you have a friend who likes his draft Guinness, and he tells you he's just popping out for a quick one, don't expect him back too soon. Some of the best things in life are worth a little bit of waiting for. When Arthur Guinness first brewed Guinness in 1759, the world was not quite ready for it. And for many years, Arthur Guinness had to brew ordinary beers as well, to make ends meet. But as the centuries passed by and the world grew up, people began to understand the strong, dry taste of Guinness. And now, over six million glasses of Guinness are served every day. But that's just the beginning. You see, when Mr. Guinness first brewed Guinness, he signed a lease for the brewery. And the lease was for 9,000 years. Every Guinness you drink comes in two parts, the black part and the white part. The whole point about Guinness is that you drink the black part through the white part. That's the only way to get from the roasted barley and malt and hops the proper smooth, dry taste that comes only from Guinness. That's why it takes both the black part and the white part to make a Guinness a Guinness. Next time you go into a pub for a pint of draft Guinness, you might like to try doing this. Simply write your initials on the head with a broad-nibbed pen. Then drink as slowly as you like, and still have your initials left at the end. It's not a trick, but something we've been doing in the brewery for years. You see, we believe that a Guinness is only a Guinness when the head lasts through to the end. So, if you don't mind writing in your beer, you might like to try this too. Cheers. Every Guinness you drink comes in two parts, the black part and the white part. The whole point about Guinness is that you drink the black part through the white part. That's the only way to get from the roasted barley and malt and hops the proper smooth, dry taste that comes only from Guinness. That's why it takes both the black part and the white part to make a Guinness a Guinness. Mrs. Angela Hunt has just been down the road for a Guinness or two. Well, as a matter of fact, four or five. 
about once a week, usually on Fridays, she gets the urge to pop down the road. Luckily, her husband is an understanding man. He believes that shopping is a woman's job. <laughs> 